Hi, welcome. We are a few days before the release of 1907, the July edition. And as you may know already, the August month is our holiday, meaning next uh, release will be in September. So that's why we just made a new version, lab version 11, with all the updates that came in in two weeks time. And all our own updates are in here as well now and uh, we're off to install this system. I always say the best thing to do is do a clean installation. But where's your data then? Well, your data can be on a USB stick, can be on a hard disk, can be on a separate hard disk, can be in the cloud, can be somewhere else. Okay, fine, the data is somewhere else. So clean install, everything is gone. The rubbish, 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 yeah, is gone. And um, we have a clean install. All the packages are working there are like they're supposed to be okay what I do now next is to have a system up and running in under a quarter of an hour uh, an hour yeah quarter of an hour 50 minutes is go to a browser doesn't matter which one you choose this is a clean installation to get rid of this password key ring just say continue continue gone and there is no password to open your browser I have made myself a Bitly account. This is not the first video. I mean, you may have seen this as well, but it is important that you know that there are tools and workflows to get you started under 15 minutes. You need to make them yourself. I mean, you can use mine as example. This is my URL after any clean installation, okay? So that gives me a place on my personal drive, google.com. You download it and you can use it as well. But it's not intended for you, it's intended for me. But you just uh, take a look at it and see what you can reuse and then put it uh, to your good use, really. <laughs> right mouse click, extract it here. This we don't need, get started, all scripts. These are all the scripts to get uh, Arch Linux stuff in and to, to synchronize, to push to it and, and so on. So things that we use on our GitHubs, things that we use to change, uh, delete lines, etc., replace words, etc. It's management, tools to quickly stay everything up to, to, to make that as to, to um, make sure that everything is up to date. Whew. And then there's two, three things. One, a two, and three. These guys I run. If this is gonna be a th an SSD that will work with for the coming month, it will be a full start. If it's just four or five minutes, it's a bare start, and a minimal is just somewhere in between. You check out what the difference is. Very easy, you know the drill. Compare, see what the difference is. It's going to do some things here, and you just follow along. There are videos about it, I know, but one more. You can also clean the folders if you are in the Arch Linux B project, then you get these extra folders, yeah? you know? So these guys just make sure they get uh, erased. So basically what I do now, I just walk away after running one of these three. A full start, bare start, and a minimal start. I'm gonna go for a minimal one in this PC. And it's basically going to update everything first. But everything is up to date since we've just built the ISO. Last pass is going to be installed. And you can just follow along what's gonna happen when you read the script. And I really say under 15 minutes everything is back in the way it was and the only thing that's gonna take some time but i don't care that's in the background that's dropbox dropbox that's gonna sync uh, in sync from google drive is gonna sync that takes a little bit of time and depending on how i feel like it i sync just one folder or all the folders it doesn't really matter um, it depends what i want to do with the ssd but we are using the Arch Linux Nemesis. Please Google Arch Linux and then Nemesis. There are lots of tutorials already online, videos online. There is never gonna be an ISO in there in the world that is 
100% to your liking. Never, ever. Unless you build it. The Arc Linux B project and the Arc Linux D is both of them for you guys. The D version is you get a, a black screen and then you run some scripts. The scripts you are scripts that you um, re-edit and change and all that. Or you build an ISO and you start with an ISO format, a file called ISO, burn it on a USB, boot from there. So all possibilities. So what I do is just make sure all my data gets copy pasted, LastPass is installed, everything is up to date, copy paste everything up uh, over, making sure that it's executable, X, right? Um, just to make sure. And then I'm gonna clone my personal Arch Linux Nemesis script, so do check out what's in there. And when we are in that folder, I'm gonna say, nah, just check again, get see that we get everything uh, new in, and then run this one, that one, that one. And in the full one, I'll install that one as well. Simple as that. Just more scripts that I'll run. I don't have an AMD, so I'll run the Intel one. All the fun apps come in. Uh, the personal stuff is in the personal folder. So I move to the personal folder and do these things as well. Just made a new one today, but I see I forgot the SH in front of it. So I'll have to fix that later on. And uh, that's to connect my Bluetooth headset automatically. And then we are going to install my template for VirtualBox. And that's all done automatically. Everything is just, well, you see my script running. We are basically now in the fun scripts. I saw this guy, you fetch, you fetch git, etc. That's inside 700. And then it's going to ask, that's something specific for me, of course. I'm always recording. If I'm recording on Arch Linux, I'm going to take number one. Since I am I have an Intel, it says here, install settings for x11, Intel only, for SSD, not VirtualBox. Okay, so just enough information that this is actually something for me specifically, because I do not have an NVIDIA, I have an Intel uh, graphical driver. So with this button, number one, choice number one, he will uh, install a particular file in the x11 folder. So I get great videos. And that's it, basically we are done now. Installing is done, I don't know how many minutes that was. We can see how many minutes that was. Seven minutes recording. I mean, and all the rest I'm gonna do is uh, log out, well, reboot actually. And then everything starts, everything comes up. What is everything? Everything is what I put in here. Here it is. I've put Discord in there, Dropbox in there, InSync in there, Telegram in there, and the rest is from us, our clinics, right? But these guys are the things I want. I want to start up Discord and talk to you guys. I want to sync my Dropbox, sync my Google Drive, and talk to you guys with, uh, with the core team then in Telegram. So everything is, for me, it's done. I, the only thing I need to do now is log into all these uh, uh, applications, but basically for me, everything is set now. All right. So that's another way of um, getting everything done and just follow the link. The link will stay the same, I hope. And it's uh, the content of the link is always changing as I'm always perfecting this thing in order to have a, as, as smooth as possible installation after a clean install. Since I have to install all the time, I need to have a quick and up and running thing afterwards. All right. Enjoy the scripts, go through them, reuse whatever you can reuse, make your own bit.ly account uh, URL there, as you saw, uh, put it somewhere online. And Google Drive doesn't matter, Dropbox any anywhere where you can put it online, use a bit.ly, which is, makes it just shorter and readable. And that's fine. All right, enjoy.